Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's a Wednesday here. In today's video, I will teach you how to install Kali Linux on your Windows PC. You hear me right? You'll be able to run Linux on your PC. Kali Linux is mostly used for advanced penetration testing, security auditing, and hacking. So if you want to dive into cybersecurity or hacking or some things, you will need to use Kali Linux. So in, in case you don't have another laptop, that you want to run Linux on, you can actually run it on your virtual machine on your Windows laptop. So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install it in a very simple and straightforward way. So before we dive into the installation, I'm going to show you the environment of Linux. I'm just going to start this Linux right on my computer now for you to see the interface. So now I've just started my Linux. This is another different computer entirely, another different operating system. So uh, let me just open the terminal for you and show you how it works. So I'll just uh, type ifconfig to just uh, bring out my IP address that I'm currently using now. So that is it. So I'm going to show you step by step on how to install Kalen Linux, my chat box and everything you need to know. So now let's get started. So what we need to do is download two applications. So the first one is called VirtualBox. So head over to Google and search download VirtualBox or check the description below to go straight to VirtualBox. So after you search download VirtualBox on Google, so you, you click on the first link. So I'm going to click on it now. So you allow you to load. So I'm going to show the kind of uh, virtual box you are going to download according to your laptop, either 64 bit or 32 bit. You have to check your laptop very well. So in order to check your kind of bit your laptop use, you uh, press Windows E and go to properties or just search, uh, click on Windows and type um, about PC. So you are going to click on about PC. And you are going to see the kind of um, bit system type you are using. So we have 64 bits here. So after that, the next thing you have to do is download the particular virtual box. So what you have to do is just download the main software. So you are going to click on Windows Host. When you click on Windows Host, since you are using Windows laptop, you allow you to load for you to download for Windows. So just allow you to load. It will start downloading now. It's wired down 5 MB. So because I've already downloaded it, I'll, I'll, I'll just have to cancel it. So in your case, you allow you to download. It will just take some couple of minutes, maybe three minutes. So after that, the next thing you need to do is go to Google and search download Kali Linux. So after you search download Kali Linux, you click on Get Kali. So when you click on Get Kali, you allow the page to open. So I want us to download every single thing first before we start installing them. So what you are going to do is there are two type of platform you are going to download so we will recommend virtual machine for virtual machine you just click on virtual machine and it's going to scroll down to it so if you're using 64 bit you click on 64 bit if you're using 32 bit you click on size 2 bit so now we're using 64 bit laptop so you click on virtual machine so you click on virtual machine you can either click on this to start downloading instantly or you click on torrent but i'll just advise you click on this you need to start downloading instantly so i'll just click on it it's 2.6 gig and this might take you like 10 minutes depending on your kind of network so i'm going to cancel it now because i've already downloaded before so now by the time you need to pause this video and download it completely so that you can follow up with the tutorial so let's assume we have not downloaded every single thing so the first thing you need to do is click on virtual machine and install it the installation does not have any specific setting all you just have to do is um, double click on virtual money and install it on your computer so after installing it what you have to do is search virtual machine on your computer so you see oracle vm virtual machine so click on open so allow it to open so you can see now i currently don't have uh, there's a new update but i'll just close it i currently don't have any virtual machine inside my virtual box so in order for you to install kali linux so remember we have download our kali linux which is 2.6 gig so what we have to do is go over here and click on add so when you click on add you're going to use your download so i have it in download so I'll ju you just click on kali linux so in my case i'll just search kali linux so it's definitely going to bring it out 
Kali. So by the time I search Kali, it will come. So this is mine. This is the four bits. I'll click on it. Yeah, so I'll just um, open file location and just click on it. So by the time I click on it, you see this pop up. So what you have to do is just click on import. You don't have to do any necessary settings. Just make sure all these are here and click on import. So when you click on import, you click on agree in the next message box. So when you click on agree, you allow the installation to finish. The installation normally takes about five to ten minutes and depend on your kind of laptop but in my kind of laptop here it may take about four minutes because i'm using the eight gig ram laptop so we're just going to wait for some minutes for it to fully complete so let's let me pause this video and i will resume it when we are fully done with the installation so let's give it some minutes So now our Kali Linux has, has fully installed. So the first thing you need to do is just click on it over here and click on start. So when you click on start, it's just going to start the machine. For the first time, I'm going to show you what you're going to do. So by the first time, you're going to see this uh, pop-up. You see virtual box, the version you are particularly on here. So you click on Kali GNU slash Linux. So when you click on it, it will start loading. So when it start loading, uh, it will just initialize for some minutes. So this is the Kali Linux icon. So by default, the username and password of the Kali Linux system is called Kali in small letter, K E L I. So the password also is small letter, K E L I. So you click on login. So after logging in, it is going to initialize and do everything. So by default, you can uh, do full screen for your Kali Linux. So this is a Kali Linux environment and now you can run Linux on your computer. So, so let's just do some little things. So you will go to our terminal. Terminal is where you will do many of your action. So I'm going to type a single code for you. Most of the time you'll be using sudo, but right now I'm just going to type if config. In Windows, it's called IP config, but right here you type if config. I F C O fig enter so it's going to show my current ip id which is 10.0.2.5.1.5 but the particular public ip address i'm using right now for the router so that's my current ip address for this particular video so if you want to do any other thing in Kali linux you can start from here and i'm going to show you how you are going to be turning this on every single time so you don't have to be doing the previous steps that we did so all you just have to do is um search for virtual box when you search for virtual box you just click on you click on you click on this then you click on start it's going to start the color linux it's as simple as that and you have saved a lot of stress from getting a new pc with linux installed on it so now you have Kali linux with two gig ram in it and you can do a lot of things in it and you are safe so if you learn something from this video subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and give it a like one love.